What is going on, everybody? ZK Novish here, and today I have another YouTube video for you guys today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing um, that Black Ops 3 DLC will be exclusive to PlayStation 4. And this is good for PlayStation users and bad for Xbox users. And I'm going to explain why in the video. But before we get into today's video, I just want to <clears throat> point something out. In the upper right hand corner of you guys' screen, you're going to see ZB Gaming, G2A, and No Scope Gaming. Those are our two sponsors and our logo. No Scope Gaming provides amazing gaming glasses that I possibly could not game without. You guys can get a 5% discount by clicking the link in the description below. Or if you're watching on PC, go ahead and click the annotation right by the logo. So yeah, and another thing I want to point out, since we're talking Black Ops 3, which is in the year 2065, I decided to go with what I personally think are the two most futuristic looking guns in Advanced Warfare, which are the EM-1 with Target Enhancer and Heat Sink, and the AE-4 with Target Enhancer and e -Sync, er, and Sync. Okay, so let's get into today's video. So, today at E3, the first day of E3, Sony, or um, someone from the Treyarch team, I believe his name was Mark, got up on stage and said that... The deal with Microsoft, um, it was a five-year deal that they had signed with Modern Warfare 2. It was that PlayStation, or that Xbox will get all DLCs early. That, that was signed at E3 and Modern Warfare 2. Now, back in the COD 4 days when anybody could pretty much get the DLC at the same time. Though, let me tell you guys, those were the good old days, but, um, if you weren't around for those... But now it's way, way, way different, and this is kind of really sad. I mean, um, I because I have an Xbox One and an Xbox 360, but um, I most likely will be upgrading to PS4 so I can get you guys all the early content. But for those of us that can't up, for those of you that can't upgrade, um, this is kind of really sad for you because you will not be getting DLC until a month later, which is really, really, really. I'm sorry, but it's gonna kind of suck for you guys. And you guys are probably going to be pissed off, and yes, I know, I was actually kind of pissed off when I first heard too, but hey, you got to get over it, guys. That's that's uh, that's what's got to happen. So, um, that, it's it's not as bad, I guess it is kind of as bad, but I think it, 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 you, it has it has you bad or worse if you're a YouTuber, because then that means you can't be publishing content as early. Uh, it was signed at E3, they had... In like I believe 2009, uh, Modern Warfare 2, they had released, um, you yeah, know, the deal, the five-year deal, and everybody figured, oh well, Microsoft is gonna renew, oh, oh they're not gonna let something like this happen, or they're gonna, they're not gonna let Sony have it. But yep, I guess apparently either they felt bad for Sony, or at the time they didn't have enough money. So before you guys think this is tr this is false, this has been confirmed. And let me explain to you some reasons why they made a good choice, even if you are with or against the choice. Let me explain to you why they made a good choice. The PS4 runs way better graphics as it has a high in a higher engine, while the P or while the Xbox One is only running 720p, the PlayStation 4 is running 1080p. So they're going with the higher graphic console and the better engine console. So that's probably one of the reasons why they did it. Another reason is because the PS4 outsold the Xbox One. Yes, and it still continues to outsell the Xbox One in sales. So there's probably more PlayStation users than there are Xbox One. And um, they probably also made the Switch because um, Microsoft is putting all of their money... Or no, I think they actually developed the game Halo, but... Or, I don't know, no, no, they don't. They, they, they have, they're putting all their money into a deal with the Halo developers, 343 Studios. They're putting all their money into them so that they can get Halo DLC exclusively. Actually, no, Halo, I don't, I, honestly, guys, I'm not, I'm not too filled in with Halo, but I know there's something with Halo going on with Microsoft, and so they don't want, they don't, they want it to be fair. And to be honest, I'm actually quite happy that they made this choice. The PlayStation users can get a bit of, a taste of what us Xbox users get but for those that have both consoles this message doesn't really occur to you but I mean it's gonna kind of suck for some but um so yeah I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next video make sure to subscribe get yourself a pair of gaming glasses and go to G2A so you can buy this game and possibly a console so thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time